what's up guys camp in russia here welcome back everybody to another fortnite video today finally we have a lot of good news to go over uh it's been a little bit slow the the past few days and that's why i haven't uploaded as many videos but today's a big one if you're new to the channel or you just don't hit it make sure to subscribe to the channel i'd love to have you helps you stay up to date on all things fortnite touch that like button for me and support a creator code the camp in russia the rhino skin finally dropped and uh i bought it i bought it right away the gameplay should be a uh, an exciting game of duos with that skin one of the customizations so it's in the shop now send me a tweet or uh, send me a comment send me an instagram even uh with a picture or just let me know i believe you uh that you're using my code or type someone in there don't let it go to waste if it's not me all right let's get into it we have lots to talk about and i'm uh, beaming i'm excited <laughs> it's, it's been a couple days i'm very excited we got some big news first one here is just quick update i've been doing this for uh, for you guys on every video, uh, easy, right? Picture seven, seven helicopter movements. The helicopter is now at polar or near polar peak, near frosty flights. And I saw a funny comment though. Uh, like we, no one knows what's going on here, right? Like we are all just really just uh, shooting in the dark. No idea. Uh, Reddit user two are okay. It's measuring the size of the map so that they know how big the new one we are getting in season nine has to be. And this was the top comment on the on the Reddit post. And I thought that's a funny. I mean, it, it would make sense, right? It, it could work, um, but obviously the odds of that happening uh, are super low. But that that's with every theory right now. And I don't know. I laughed at it, but then I thought there, there's a small chance it, it could happen. Next up here, start with the smaller bits of news. Lucas uh, finally bothered to look at the Carbon Commandos thing. And yes, it is in fact a promotion. So just uh, letting you know again. we I did talk about this, but at the time it was semi-confirmed. So these two skins, are the skin and the back bling, uh, are definitely part of a promotion pack. We don't know which pack it is. Uh, but we are very much assuming it's the PlayStation Plus, right? Based on the colors. Uh, I will give you more details once we know uh what's going down with that okay the next two things are a, a concept but again when i said when we talk about concepts here on the channel i only talk about them because i really think they're going to make their way into the game uh and then we'll talk about two the two big pieces of, of official news but this first one i think it solves all the problems hear me out here's a picture and this is again all credit down below from musito one on reddit add a beginner mode for new players so that they don't meet sweats and give up on Fortnite. And here's a picture. And the picture says beginner mode will only be available for new players with zero wins, zero kills. And you'll max out at two wins and 150 kills. Then the game mode will no longer be available to you. Uh, and, and I'd say you could make this number even bigger, right? Five wins, 300 kills, whatever it is. But what an awesome idea. I think... Uh, and I guess that uh, if you missed yeah, or two days ago, we did a video. We talked about Fortnite has once again broken records. Uh, th they've hit uh, a record number of concurrent players online, 10.8 million, I, I think it was. And 250 million global players uh, have jumped on Fortnite at one time or the other. So they're still growing. There's no downward trend, even with the Apex versus Fortnite. It didn't slow Fortnite down at all. Fortnite is still breaking records. But... There's always room for improvement, right? And I think this would be the only area it's lacking. Because from my perspective, uh, a sweat, I, I think I would be considered that. Uh, it, it, I love the game. I absolutely love it. But I totally see the perspective of, of, a, of a beginner player coming in, just jumping in, getting smacked by guys like me or pros or even the average player, right? Like, it's, it's a little disheartening. So why not give a like a tutorial beginner mode for the first whatever couple hours few hours five ten hours of gameplay so you can get used to the game and, and see the fun of it right if you are actually even with other people kind of motivating you to 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 train put the hours in and and become an average player because then you're going to get that feeling throughout normal games i don't know do you like this idea hate this idea i thought it was a great one and i really wanted to show it off moving on to some of these bigger pieces of news the first one is there is a picture in game that shows the lava volcano being flooded with water do you think it is foreshadowing the future it, just foreshadowing right foreshadowing foreshadowing means just uh looking ahead to the future um so there's a picture and he's right i don't know the actual location of this thing 
Uh, but or I think it's the new Creative Island is what someone said. So it might be in Creative, but either way, it's it's official. And yeah, man, the it's pretty self-explanatory. There is water that has moved in. I mean, the the flood theory has been a theory. Uh, I mean, honestly, I, I think I made one of the first videos on this theory. So I'm guilty back in season four or something like that. Uh, I remember the thumbnail, right? It was, it was the, there was the, the bunker and then a flood around it. There was some news that came out that, that it, it looked like that was what the final event was going to be for that season. Obviously, I was completely wrong. But here it is again. And, and now, and I mean, Fortnite's seen the posts. They've seen the theories. They know the flood theory is one of the biggest ones to still exist. So either, again, they could be trolling, unnecessarily teasing us with this, and then it's probably something totally different. Or they're teasing us for real. And this thing is actually going to come out maybe this season, maybe the next season. I'm not too sure. What do you think? Do you think we could have a flood? Do you think it could impact the volcano for you old Minecraft players? Do you think the water touches lava, uh, obsidians created, and then we all go to the nether region? <laughs> I've seen that comment a ton of times too. P people are funny, man. People are creative. Uh, if you haven't played Minecraft, uh, I'm sure many of you have, uh, but you get the reference. That, that would be funny too. Another good... They, they just... For, you never know with Fortnite. They could do anything. And it honestly would not surprise me too much even if they did something like that i'd be like ah well it's fortnite kind of expected finally big piece of news here fort tory well let me just show you two pictures the first one is a picture uh from ninja's twitter tomorrow march 25th 12 p.m noon eastern and it's a picture of a a pair but a pair that is very similar to the apple logo uh, and not Ninja tweeted this. I think Tim the Tapman, Instagram, Dr. Lupo. So a lot of big Fortnite names talking about this. So obviously some sort of collaboration sponsorship happening there. And then Apple tweeted, and there's Apple's logo. It's showtime. Tune in March 25th at 10 a.m. PT to watch our Apple event live on Twitter. Tap heart below to get updates from Apple. So uh, obviously, I mean, you guys know the logo before I show you, but there is some similarities there. I don't know why they wouldn't just do the Apple logo and why it's some like weird pear looking thing, but I'm very sure this is uh, related. And and again, uh, some people are saying Apple times Ninja, uh, but again, there are some other YouTubers, but it's kind of YouTubers from Ninja Squad, so you could still argue that it's a strictly an Apple times Ninja event or announcement, uh, or it's Apple times Fortnite. I'm not too sure, but either way, uh, if you miss the news tomorrow, I will update you on what the news is uh, once we hear about it. Because, yeah, I can't wait to find out. This seems to be pretty big. And we've been looking for a Fortnite Apple, uh, you know, collaboration for a very long time. Especially with Apple collaborating with Samsung multiple times already. And the success Samsung and Fortnite has seen since they've done it multiple times. Uh, I think it only it, it, it only motivated uh, Apple to jump in and get in on this. And I'm excited. What do you think they're going to do? Is it going to be some type of skin uh, s similar to what we've seen with Samsung where you buy a phone, you get access to a very cool skin? Remember, Galaxy Skin was the first uh, Samsung times Fortnite collaboration. And that was an awesome looking skin, right? Something totally different. So maybe Apple will do the same. I don't know. I, I think skin is my first guess some type of skin if you buy something, but it could be anything. It really could. Leave your suggestions, leave your comments down below, ladies and gentlemen. That's all I got for you today. If you've enjoyed the video, make sure to touch that like button. I told you, we finally got some big news today. Flood, season nine map theory. That one's kind of out there, but, and then this Apple event. I'm excited to see what they, see what they do. Subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. Touch that like button. Support a creator code, The Camping Rusher. Let me know if you are using it uh, via comments. And uh, one more thing. I also noticed you can see in the comment section, I can see how many times I've hearted uh, individual commenters. So I, I see some of you commenting now, and you've got like four hearts, right? And, and obviously, like, uh, sometimes I'll heart like 50, 100 comments on a video. Okay, maybe not 100. Usually around 25, 50. I don't want to embellish it. Uh, so I don't always, I don't remember the names too well, but it's a cool system. Now, if, uh, if you're obviously an active commenter, uh, odds are you're going to start to get those hearts. And now I can actually see how many times I, I've done it. So I can see kind of the more active 
commenters and I should say it's usually the early commenters is that so if you you comment a lot you don't get any hearts uh it's usually the early ones I heart throughout the day but a lot of it is right at the start that's why I read a lot of the comments so uh don't be discouraged I really appreciate any any interaction with the video helps tremendously and uh I, I'm just I like that feature I'm excited about that feature because just another way for me to show and, and recognize uh some of the people helping me out so thank you all right take care talk soon goodbye